have dominion over demonic works. Luke chapter 10 and verse 19, Jesus said, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. What we see in scripture is that through one man's disobedience to what Adam did, the human race was brought into subjection to sin, to Satan, to disease, and to all the consequences of sin. But through covenant with God, through the redemptive work of Christ, and through what God does for us in Jesus, in the person of Christ, we are now given authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all of the power of the enemy. We have been redeemed to reign and we have, we have been positioned to dominate as born again believers who have been washed in the blood of Jesus, who have this covenant with God, who now belong to Jesus Christ. We have the authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all of the power of the enemy. And Jesus said, nothing will by any means hurt you. So the first area of expression of our ruling and reigning in life and our expressing our God-given dominion is to destroy the works of the devil. It is to oppose what de Satan and his demons are doing in our realm on the earth today. That we have the authority given to us by God to stop those works, to destroy those works, to trample underfoot. That means to have complete mastery, complete dominion, and complete authority over every evil work of the devil. So when the enemy comes against you as an individual, in temptations, in attacks, and in, 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 in causing difficult things, you and I, we must arise up with a sense of dominion. We should have the spirit of a conqueror within us. When you, dis when you d discern that the devil is up to something, he's doing something, don't sit on there and say, oh, the devil is doing something. What am I to do? Oh, God, help me. Listen, God has put you in a place of authority. God has redeemed you to reign. God has already positioned you at his own right hand. You are a person, a born-again being, a born-again believer who's, who has dominion flowing in your life. And so you've got to rise up with a spirit of a conqueror over those works of the devil and say, devil, you will not touch what belongs to me. You will not overpower me. You will not, no, have no interest in, in my life and the things that concern me. And you reject, you overpower, you destroy, you annul, you cancel, you cast away the works of the enemy. The same thing we do as we minister to people who come to us for help. When people come to us for help and they are oppressed and they are troubled by demonic powers, we rise up with our God-given authority, with our God-given dominion to destroy the works of the devil in their lives as we stand in agreement with them as they seek help from the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, remember, we've been created in the image of God to resemble God here on earth. That means we represent who he is in his life and nature, in, 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 in his character, in his virtues. We also represent him by exercising his authority and carrying out his purposes here on earth. That's what it means to be in his image. And so when you are serving people and destroying the works of the devil off of their lives, you are being a person in God's image. You are revealing God to them. You're showing what God wants to do in their lives. So walk in your dominion over the works of the devil that's in you. Rise up with the spirit of a conqueror. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you. that you've given us dominion over every demonic work. That we can trample on serpents and scorpions over all, and over all of the power of the enemy. And nothing that the devil does can hurt us. Thank you for this dominion. Help us to walk in it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit abcwo.org.